I want to show you today the new Burke Wachter dual safe. The dual safe replaces the old CombiLine EFS, which is um, a favorite here amongst customers here in the US because of its burglary rating and also fire rating, both in a very small footprint, a light safe, but a lot of technology in there to keep your contents safe. So we made some improvements on the safe. First, you can see it comes now with a display, um, its own battery compartment down here, and a new handle, which makes it much easier to operate, especially for people who might have uh, injuries or arthritis. So the way that you turn it on is you press the on button or you swipe over it. And turns it on and it asks for the code. I simply can enter my code. There's a star added every time I enter a digit. It says, please turn the knob. As you can see, I fold this out and over. The safe turns itself off to conserve some battery. And I can simply open. Um, it comes here, the dual, this is the 415. It comes with one shelf. It can be mounted um, on the floor or in the back. It's pre-drilled um, as usual. So very easy. You close it, lock it, and put it in. Another way to pull the door open, again, I put on one, two, three, four, five, six, is I can turn the knob, but now I can also grab it here. There's a little overhang here. I can just grab it here. Also makes it really convenient, especially if you think about the larger sizes. Okay. This here is the finger scanner, and I'm going to show you this in a second. I will zoom in a little more. So you can see the display better. There. Um, as I operate it. So we press on, very simple. Um, we don't have to put in the code if we want to change some things. We can just say function. There we can do code change. That's the master code. Language, we you know uh, could change it to a different language. Administrator and then information about it. So if we go to administrator and then we press on or enter, it says here on there as well. We could do user, that's the most important part. And now I could create a new user. I can create a user code and I can also create a finger scan. So it is now on create code, it's always indented when it's on there. I press two to go down to create finger. I create a new finger, say on. Now I have to enter the admin code. So this is not the user code and it gives me program finger one with a little arrow down. I swipe it down, two, little finger down, three with a little arrow down, four, five, user 0011 FP for fingerprint created. So now my finger is created. I really like how it's kind of walking you through and shows you that it registered every single one. Um, now I could also create a new code and uh, I would just now put in the combination. Let's just say this is six, five, four, three, two, one. It actually shows you the code here, which is nice because then you can write it down, make sure you don't have a typo. So, store with enter key, boom, um, I entered it. So that's really nice. I might even take a picture of it to archive what I, what I used. So the master code is needed to put in new fingers or uh, create new codes. And if I pray, press function, I can now also delete users um, as normal. There's a timing function. 
where I can put the save on a time lock up to 99 minutes. Then there's programming. The save can actually be up, uh, updated with a little micro SD card, which goes down in here. And processes, I don't think that's so important. Um, you can look, you can actually do some diagnostics here also on the save, see if everything's working correctly. Just like you see when you are um, here in the main first display, you see it's locked and the battery is full. So one thing that I wanted to mention too is this battery compartment opens with a Torx 8 screwdriver and it comes with two screws. So you can conveniently take those out and then I will do this in the end so you don't have to watch me put it back in. Um, you can take them out and just put in four new AA batteries. It's kind of like a magazine. Um, those are the most important functions of this lock. So I will now take it off. There we go. Try not to drop anything. As you can see here, here it tells you the orientation up front, how you can uh, put in, like how you should put in the batteries. And then this little guy does not allow you to actually put it in the wrong way. So it's always inserted the right way for standard batteries, makes it real easy. You don't have to pull anything else off. And that is, in a nutshell, the new dual safe of Bergwacht. Thank you.